Hi, this is Amy Sargent doing outreach and education for the CCDC. I'm going to show you how to use Mercury to run a Mogul geometry analysis. Let's get started. Here I have the coordinates of a ligand molecule from a protein crystal structure determination. As you can see, this is quite a complex molecule. We'd like to make sure the chemistry is reasonable based on similar structures that are in the CSD. To run the Mogul geometry analysis, choose CSD system from the top level menu and then select Mogul geometry check. A dialog box appears which allows us to change settings for the search. Here you can see fragment types are given as bond length, valence angle, torsion angle, and ring. In the interest of time, we will untick the box by ring. The system also allows us to filter the data that we are comparing our molecule to. For this example, we'll take the default and not apply any filters. Once we are happy with our settings, click the search button. The system warns us that it will run a complete analysis of all loaded molecules. Click OK to continue. When the analysis is done, the Mogul Results Viewer window appears. You can see it lists all the bonds, angles, and torsions in our molecule. The parameters are color-coded, such that those in blue are flagged as not unusual with enough hits for comparison, and those in red are flagged as unusual with enough hits for comparison. To investigate the unusual parameters, simply select the line for the parameter that you're interested in. If we click this line, you'll see that the fragment is highlighted in our molecule in the mercury window and the value of the torsion angle is displayed. To see how this compares to other representative structures in the CSD, double-click the line in the table. Now you'll see a histogram appears. This is a histogram of values of that torsion angle in similar molecules in the CSD. You'll see the value of our query, which is given by this red line, falls well outside the histogram of expected values from the CSD. So we know that this torsion angle is quite unusual to what we would expect. Simply because a parameter is highlighted as unusual does not mean that it is wrong. It means that there is something interesting going on in the structure, and it is up to you as the crystallographer to investigate it. It may be that a hydrogen bond or other steric interaction is causing the molecule to adopt a strained conformation. Investigating the parameters that are unusual, as flagged by the Mogul geometry analysis, will help you understand if your refinement of the crystal structure is correct, or if there is something chemically interesting going on in your structure. Hopefully this example has given you some information on how to run a Mogul geometry analysis and interpret the results. For more information, see our website and workshop materials. 